Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a should be a really neat review. It's the new XK X350 uh, Dancer from XK Quadcopters, which I believe is an affiliate of WL Toys. Where we are today is Indian Wells Canyon. Uh, what I'd like to do with this today is uh, this thing supposedly has a thousand meter range. We're going to send it out pretty far. I'm going to do aerial video <laughs> of this quadcopter and try to do some high speed, uh, low uh, altitude flying. So hopefully it look it should look pretty cool. Um, let's talk uh, talk about this quadcopter. The XK X350 is more or less an acrobatic quadcopter. Um, I guess you could convert it to an RC racer too. It has a little platform on it for putting an FPV system or a camera on. In my case, I just uh, slapped on an. Uh, a run cam HD camera with uh, some velcro cable tie straps and, and a little bit of putty in there so it doesn't slide forward and backward and help with the dampen it hopefully. Um, this quadcopter overall is it feels well made. Um, it, it is of course uh, brushless motors on this thing. Um, there is no GPS built into this. Um, it's not meant for uh, GPS flying. It's meant for more or less acrobatic flying and uh, FPV uh, racing, I'm supposing. <laughs> for such, it has a 12 volt and a 5 volt port here. If you want to attach an FPV system, you, you can do such. Uh, overall, let's just take it for a flight and see how it does. But first off, I want to go over its transmitter that goes with it. Um, it is a very complicated transmitter. Uh, this quadcopter supposedly has 3D mode and 6G mode. Now it starts off in 6G mode which means it has uh, three accelerometers and three gyroscopes a normal you know toy grade quadcopter type of flying um, pretty much pretty, should be pretty easy overall but it also has at the flip of a switch 3D mode where you can fly it upside down you know you're seeing a lot of inverted quadcopters these days. This is another one of them that's designed to fly inverted or normal side up. Um, me, in general, I like to fly normal side up. <laughs> Upside down is kind of a novelty to me. But I am not going to go into 3D primarily because I'm not very skilled at flying uh, 3D upside down. And I'm not going to do that today either. Um, other things it has, this switch here is for throttle hold. This switch here is for DR. I'm not sh quite sure what DR is. I'm assuming it's uh, low rate, high rate. I'm going to try throwing that switch while flying today. This switch here, again, is for going from 3D mode to 6G mode. I'm going to start off in 6G mode. All switches are pressed forward and back. And this switch here is for 3D idle. I guess you can uh, idle the motors. I'm not sure what 3D idle is. Uh, I'm sure others here that review this video will be able to chime in and, and give us a little more detail of what these switches are because it was really vague in the instructions what DR meant, throttle hold meant, what uh, 3D idle meant. So please, if you do know what these means, uh, chime in below. Um, overall, let's go for a flight of the XK Detect, or yeah, the XK X350 and see how it performs here at Indian, Indian Wells Canyon. Hope you enjoy this flight. Now, this quadcopter does not have a lock-unlock uh, switch or, or a mode, you know, that you see like on other uh, uh, quadcopters of this uh, size with brushless motors. Normally you either move uh, one of these switches down to the left or the right or outboard and that will safe the quadcopter or unsafe the quadcopter. That's not a function of this quadcopter. This quadcopter does not have that function. To start it up, make sure all these switches are, are back, switched back to their, I guess, their off position or uh, 6G mode position for that in this case. And then you turn on the transmitter. You start off with the transmitter on and then you plug in the quadcopter. And before doing such, let me turn on my camera too. Okay. Now the battery's closed in. I closed the door. I have a green light, means which means I'm good to go. The accelerometers are all set. We're in 6G mode also. I guess if you press this, yeah, this is 3D mode. It goes to red. But a good steady uh, green light means we're in um, 6G mode. We're good to go. Now I'm going to use a timer today. We're going to fly for seven minutes. And starting the timer now. Okay, stepping back a bit since this will be the first flight of this. 
Hope you enjoy this flight. <laughs> it starts rather quickly. <laughs> let's, let's demonstrate that. Okay, there we go. Got a little bit of... Let me trim it up a bit. And we're going for a flight. We'll start off with yaw turns. Let's bring it in and show you this thing in flight. It's, it sounds powerful, it looks powerful. Yawing it a bit, and let's take it out. Take it over the bushes. has a hell of a pitch on it, so this thing can really move. <laughs> you know this can move. I'm going to go to the edge of the lip here so we can fly lower. We'll go down in the valley here. It's a smooth flyer. It feels like it's got a ma lot of mass to it. Let's see if it can do... Well, it can do quick turns too. But it doesn't turn on a dime, I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's got a lot of bass. See how fast it'll turn. Not real fast turner. Okay. Including back in the turns. I'm just curious to see how fast it'll turn. We'll do funnels. Uh, not really. <laughs> Let's bring it in close again so you can see this. Okay, I'm going to trim it a bit. And bring it in for a close look. Okay, now we're going fast. Oh, it can book, giving a lot of forward pitch. Good Lord, that would kill you. <laughs> you get hit with this thing, man. It's heavy and fast. Let's show that again. This time I'm going to go off in that distance and go by. Okay, I'm going to go down in the gully a bit. hell of a pitch on this thing. It sounds mean, it sounds fast. And I'm just flying in 3D boat today. Let me bring it overhead and see if those lights are still good. Yeah, lights are still fine. 
Okay, I'll bring it in a little closer now. Let me trim it up a bit. It seems to lose its trim somewhat. Okay, this is hands off right now. Okay, it's it's coming back. Yeah, let's bring it in a little closer here. So you can see this thing. Bring it in again. I went to 6G mode there for a second, folks. <laughs> I accidentally hit in with my finger, <laughs> but it seems me nasty little thing. Okay, let me see what this DR switch is. Don't seem to change anything. Okay, I thought that may be a higher rate, but no, that's not what that DR switch does. Let me bring it down and show you the, the R rate on this thing. It's not super... There's the R rate. I'll bring it over again and closer and show you that. Oh yeah. And there's my seven minute timer. I'm just gonna go out one more time here, real fast. Damn, that thing's fast though. I'll give you that, it is fast. Look at the, oh my God, it's like 80 degree tilt. <laughs> degree tilt on this thing maybe even more then this is a 6g mode it does 80 degree 80 degree tilt <laughs> okay that's enough for today that's my first flight of this thing it's just a fan flight getting a feel for it this could be a pretty badass quadcopter once I get the feel for it bringing it in First flight of the XK X350. Hope you enjoyed the flight. <laughs> that was pretty badass. Now again, I don't like this thing because it don't have a um, lock. I gotta put this down here. I don't like the idea it doesn't have a lock button. You gotta unplug the battery to unlock or to, to safe it. Okay. And now I can turn off my transmitter and my camera. So that was the first flight of the XKX350, my first flight of it. Um, overall thoughts, it's fast, it's real fast. This thing will tilt 80 degrees, ni almost 90 degrees <laughs> at full forward pitch. So it, it can book, it really does book. Um, it's so fast and it's pretty darn heavy that it is somewhat dangerous, okay? Do not, beginners, do not even think of flying this thing. You'll hurt somebody or hurt yourself or hurt property. <laughs> this is not a learn to fly quadcopter. Uh, this is for intermediates and experts who want to, I, I guess, transition to the world of FPV racing because I really feel that this, this thing might be an eraser, although it kind of, it's turning is kind of uh, somewhat um, limited uh, in terms of uh, turn rate. Um, it's got a lot of mass to it, and when you try to make a hard bank turn, you know, you need a lot of real estate, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. You know, it doesn't turn, seem to turn on a dime like uh, I thought it might be able to do. But again, this is also able to fly upside down inverted. Um, I didn't demonstrate that today because I'm not skilled enough to do such. Uh, in future videos, I will. I hope, hopefully will be. I'm going to practice that with some of these quadcopters. But um, overall, first look, X350. <sighs> It's pretty darn badass. <laughs> Quadcopter 101, I hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.